welcome back. Today I thought I would talk about disability and how I got my disability. I know some people have a problem. They file for they file for disability and it gets, you know, rejected and they file again and it gets rejected and they file again and it gets rejected. I have I know some people that are on their like fifth time of filing for disability and it keeps getting rejected. Well, let me tell you. When I filed for disability, first time through, it was approved. Praise God. Thank God. I, for, I, it's not a problem. I didn't have a problem with my disability at all. So let me tell you, tell you my story and how I did that. I drove a school bus for 20 years. Um, and I had, along the way, I had a lot of back pain. I had a lot of neck pain. And probably... 16 years into driving, I had my first neck fusion. I had a herniated disc in my neck. I had my first neck fusion. And I, I worked through until I had my surgery. And my bus route, not no joke, my bus route was in the day maybe seven hours, six, six and a half hours long. I had a long bus route. I was on the road. That's like morning and afternoon. I was on the road a long time. So I had my neck fusion and I was off oh about a month and a half from work six weeks you know came back to work um and the pain just my back just started hurting my back it hurt so bad I went to several doctors different doctors and thank god where I worked I worked for a county and we had a lot of days off we were given I had a lot of vacation days I had sick time I can use I had personal days, I had like a week of no pay I could take, and believe me, I used all of them. I used all of them going to doctors because my back pain was getting so bad. Well, along the way, when I first started driving, you know, I just pray, God, I just want 20 years. Just give me 20 years, and, that's, and then I'd like to retire. 20 years. If I could work longer than that, that would be great, but I just need 20 years. So, neck fusion happened, and then my back got so bad, I had the opportunity to go into an adult workshop. And what I did there was supervise um, disabled people, mentally, abused, mentally disabled people, mentally, you know, just the physically, mentally disabled people. That's what I did. So I was able to go in the workshop, Oh, probably I was in there two years and I was off the bus so it was easier I wasn't bouncing all over the place and but my back was still getting bad it was still still hurting there were days that I could get to work and all I could do was sit and thank God I had a group of women that worked with me that helped me pick up my slack when they knew I was really hurting they helped pick up the slack for me and you know I did the same for them when they were so we we worked together we worked great so along came the time that my back was just hurting it was hurting so bad I had 19 and a half years in 19 and a half years and people kept saying Michelle you need to file for disability and I'm like Ugh. I don't, I, I like working. I like my job. I like working. Michelle, you need to file. Oh, okay. So I called around, you know, because I had two different systems. I was in a private school system and now I'm in a county system. So I called the county system where I worked and they said, you have, you have more years into the school system right now. So we need to call them. So I called them, SERS, and said, you know, I would like to file for disability. So they sent me all the paperwork, and I let the paperwork sit there. I just, it just sat there. It sat there, and I'm praying. I'm like, God, what should I do? You know, but remember, when I first started driving, and along the way, my prayer was, God, at least 20 years. I just want to get 20 years in. So at my 19 and a half year mark, I couldn't stand up. I would get back spasms so bad. It was, it, it was bad. It was bad. And it was like uh, unbelievable. It was unbelievable pain that I was in. And then my neck was hurting again. 
So one day, I remember this very clearly, very clearly. I'm praying about it. And at that time, I was flat on the couch. I hurt so bad. I got up, got those disability papers out, went in the kitchen, and I stood there and filled them all out. I just filled every one of them out. Did what I needed to do. Put them in the mail the next day, because this was a Sunday, it was the weekend. So on my way to work the next day, I put them in the mail and thought, I don't know, I, I, this is going to probably be a process for me, and it's going to take years like everybody else. So I put them in the mail, and then I got a phone call a couple days later, and I had to do a few more things, like send some papers to doctors, and you, you know, all that good stuff. And along, I'm still hurting, I'm still hurting, and at this point, I mean, my feet ached, my legs ached, my back ached, everything ached, but I'm still going to work. Still going to work. Well, out of the blue, about two months later, I get a letter in the mail. You are approved for disability starting this date. And I'm like, oh, oh, now listen, that prayer that I had to have my 20 years in was answered. Because I had my 20 years in for my disability, God answered my prayer. I got my 20 years. So I'm looking at this letter and I'm thinking, oh, I think I need to quit my job now. What do I do? I, what do I do? So the next day, I took my papers into work and I handed it to my boss and I said, I think I need to quit my job. I think my disability was approved. He said, it sure was and you don't have to work anymore. And I'm thinking, oh, praise God, because I hurt so bad. I hurt so bad. And I prayed about my disability. I prayed, God, I don't want people to think that I'm not sick, okay? I don't want people to think that I'm just using the system because I'm not, because I can't walk. It hurts so bad. I didn't want people to think bad of me because I'm on disability. You know, I was so afraid that people were going to think I was using the system. And a couple people I talked to, they're like, Michelle, you're not. You can't walk. Yeah, I know. I know. It hurts bad. So I got my letter to my boss and went and got all my stuff and told all my friends goodbye. My disability was approved. And they're like, are you kidding me? No, it only took, took um, maybe two months. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. And they're like, are you kidding me? We have friends. There's my cat. We have friends. We have people that we know that that have been trying for, the, you know, that have problems like you do and have been trying and nothing gets approved. How did you do it? Prayer. God promised me 20 years. That was my promise. And he promised he would take care of me at this job. If you haven't seen the video of how I got my job, I'll post it in the description down below. Go back and watch that because how I got my job is pretty, pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. So God promised that he would take care of me and he did. And I got a little bit, a little bit over 20 years. So I was able to get my health insurance. I've been able to get good benefits now that I got my 20 years in. So I told all my friends goodbye and everything and they're like how did it happen God it, this was God this was God I prayed this was God this was God so if you're wanting to file for disability and you're really 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 sick start praying about it start praying about it because if God thinks you need to have it you'll have it if God thinks you're the one that needs to be on disability, he'll, he'll get it. You'll get it. You'll get it. If, just pray about it. I know some people might think that's crazy and I'm nuts, but I'm telling you, God answers prayers. And, you know, pray about it. God, if this is what you need for me in my life, that's how I prayed about it. If this is what you need for me in my life, I, I'll do it, you know. And I did, and I got so after I got my disability, I then got really sick. You know, well, I came home from work the next day and I'm like, oh, 
I guess I could sleep in tomorrow. Because I don't have to go to work. I don't have to go to work anymore. And that took a while to sink in. It took a while to sink in. I don't have to go to work anymore. But uh, probably a month after I was on disability, I got very sick. I got very, very sick. My, my kidney, one of my kidneys was clogged. And, and that's a whole other story. And you're, you get really sick when you have kidney problems, let me tell you. So I had that fixed. And in the, in the meantime, when I was sick, I actually found a doctor at UPMC in Pittsburgh that knew about my spine because my, my herniation was in my thoracic area, and that's not normal. 10% of people in the United States have herniation there, and I'm one of them. Way, you know, yay me. So I found a doctor that agreed to do surgery. You know, he's, it's so rare, he's like, I don't know if it'll help, I, I don't know. I don't know, we'll have to see. Do you want me to, yes, I want you to do it because I can't stand the pain that I'm in right now. So about two weeks before my spine surgery, I had my kidney fixed. Then I had my, oh, then I had a tooth, I had to get a tooth pulled the day before my surgery, you know. <laughs> so then the day of my surgery, I went in, now I have a rod in my spine. I had that done in like April, about two years ago. I do have a rod in my spine now, and in November I had to have a second neck fusion. I had a titanium disc replacement in there, and that was removed, and now I have bone grafts and everything in my neck. So I deserve the disability. I deserve it, and I'm thankful for it. I am so thankful that I don't have to get up to go to work every day because it would be really hard for me to do because some nights I can't sleep through the night. Some days I can't walk. Some days I have to spend the day in bed. I'm thankful that I can watch my grandkids. I know in here you guys see my grandkids. But after I take them home, I'm in bed. I'm in bed for the rest of the night and maybe the next day because they just wear me out. They just totally wear me out and the back pain gets bad. And you know. So I am thankful that I have my disability. So if you're trying to get your disability, start praying about it. Maybe God will answer your prayer. So if you like my video, like, subscribe, and come back for more. I got more stories to tell. My dog is right here. My dog decided to visit me too. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.